Sattler 5. I'm John Hughes. I'm very proud of the tremendous amount of repeat and referral business that we do in Victoria Park, and this is because I've personally trained all of my salespeople to be non-pushy, friendly and professional, and to always provide first class before and after sales service. I jealously safeguard my reputation, so if you want the best car buying experience in WA, choose your dealer before you choose your car. That's John Hughes in Victoria Park. DL6061. Devright Homes, when you're looking for attention to detail and uniquely designed home to suit all your needs. At Devright Homes, we only build a limited number of homes per year, so we can truly focus on what you want out of a prestige home builder. We've continually won awards for excellence, with a record number of wins last year and the proud winner of the Australian Townhouse Villa of the Year. While we love building homes to suit each client, we pride ourselves on designing homes that take into account the special safety needs of some of our clients. If you have a dream, we can make it come true. Talk to Jay Mangano and find out more about Devright Homes at www.devright.com.au. This is the Sutler Five. Welcome back to the Sattler Files. This is Murray Korf, and with me is Jay Mangano from Devright Homes of Distinction. G'day, Jay. Hi, Murray. How are you today? Well, thank you. Welcome Hi. along. Um, look, a lot of people wouldn't know a lot about Devright Homes as an entity. But it's you and your husband, isn't it, basically, that make up Deverite Homes? It is, yes. We are a small team. So yep. there's both Ron and I. We're both registered builders. Um, we're both involved in all our projects from start to finish. So mm. we do everything. Mm -hmm. We have staff that we Obviously, yeah. help us out. But, mm. yeah, basically Ron and I are involved from start to finish in mm -hmm. every job. Well, I can see big pluses in that because it's it's somebody that knows where, at what stage the job is at and what stage things need to be at and if it's running behind or ahead and what's needed and so on. Yeah, there are lots of pluses mm. um, because there's always things that are not quite right, you know, plans oh, without, change without a doubt. and things. So if we're involved in it, we know. We know what the clients have said. We know what the staff has said. We know... Mm. everything so we're the people in the middle that can yep. control it all so. so it becomes a very personal service to somebody that is actually buying out or has commissioned you to build a home that they've you know sat down with you it becomes very personal doesn't it it does very personal most of our clients become friends mm. um we we could run into most of our clients at the shops and know their family yeah. know, know every everything that's about them so, that's fantastic yeah, yeah. And yeah. and obviously that they uh, uh, because it's so personal they they tend to trust you to do the right thing and to um, and to build a quality product. Yeah. They don't trust us in the beginning when they come to us. No. They 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 think we're just like normal builders. Yeah. Um. But as there is a point, you'll you'll know they trust us now. That yeah. they trust that we will do everything we can mm. to make it right. Um, and I suppose you hear a lot of the time, whatever you think. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet you do. Yeah. Uh, even work that they're doing for themselves and they'll have another tradesman there. Yeah. They'll go, oh, whatever Ron says you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, that's a great compliment really, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah, it, it is, yeah. Because it does demonstrate that they trust and it does demonstrate that they're happy for you to make decisions on their behalf. Yeah, and they trust that we will make it in their best interest. Mm. Um, they don't think for a minute that we would make a decision based on cost or mm. um, yeah. we'll make it on their, their you know, like we in will. In their best interest. In their best interest at yeah. all times. That's mm. fantastic. And, of course, no two homes are built the same, are they? No. You're not one that says, uh, look, we just no. build these like a sausage machine. Yeah, no, we design each home from scratch. Mm -hmm. So we start off, we get a contour survey, and then we sit down with the clients and we go through what they want from their house, mm -hmm. where mm. they want their rooms, um, what they expect to be able to live like. Um, so we've got a list of what they want on each floor or mm. what they want in relationship to each other. Mm. Um, and then from there, from the list and the contour survey, mm. we go away and we design their house mm. and um, give it. we'll design it from their brief 
And then we give it back to them and they say, well, we like this, we don't like that. And, mm. and then we just play with it until we get it exactly as they want it. So That's, it has to be exactly as they want it. So it's really very client-driven, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and we know that and uh, this is our client's dream homes. Mm. It is just how it is. And so we try to make their house exactly as they would want it. So if there's I – mean, their drawings, their marks on a piece of paper until you actually see the bricks and mortar go up, mm. you know, if they come to us and they say, well, you know, I don't think this is right or that's not right, can I change this? We go, yeah, right oh. Mm. Um just today I had a client email me and go, oh, my, I've, we've drawn the bench top as a metre wide and I want it 1,200 wide and I think it will be better proportioned. Mm. Go, okay, doesn't make any difference to mm. me. Mm. Um, it, it will in cost-wise because of course it um, does. Yeah. material, there will be a little bit more material. But, um, yeah, so it doesn't matter. In big companies it does matter because every change Something can go wrong. Mm. Someone might not know, and then there's mistakes and things don't happen when they should or how they should, and then it creates problems. But in our company, because we're involved, we can make the change and and know that it's going to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and c we control when our plans go out to our cl our tradies and mm. our suppliers, suppliers so yeah. we know that they've got the latest set. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, we've had people. People always come in and say they want light in their walk-in robes. Oh, I've got to have a window in my walk-in robe. I've got to have a window in my walk-in robe. Got to have light. Mm. But then they get there and they build and they go, okay, so this is going to affect my shelving. So I don't need the light anymore. <laughs> get rid of that window. I don't want it. <laughs> That's so, extraordinary, so, yes. Yeah, I'm, when they realise shelving's going because of a window. <laughs> yeah, they're not really interested after that. But I suppose that in, in lots of cases this might be their, this is their dream home, but they're not experienced in designing homes, are they? And that's where you guys come in. Yeah. So, yeah, we have to um, – there's lots of laws that we we have to follow. Mm. So we can change things um, as long as it's within the law. Of course, um, yeah. We don't break the law and we don't bend it. So, no, no. Um, yeah, it's, we, we will try and if we – clients sometimes do ask for things that you know is just not right or yeah, yeah. you know is not going to work and we've, we'll try and explain why we think it's the wrong mm. thing to do yep. and hopefully they – realise that it is the wrong thing to do because we've built many houses before. Uh, well, that's the point I think I was making yeah. there. You've got the experience in there, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So we we uh, we walk through every house so we see it as it's getting built so we know mm. when things are not right. Mm. Um, and, that, and that must be a great comfort uh, to your clients because they're looking to have a uh, a finished product that really does yeah. suit what they want and what they have in mind. I suppose you've got to be a bit of a mind reader sometimes. Yeah. Maintenance is the thing. So we, we always try to minimise maintenance. And mm. So well, people come in and say, oh, I want this. And you go, but have, have you, you thought, thought through <laughs> yeah, what this yeah. is going to do? Yeah. Um, there's an extra valley in the roof or something. It just... You know, think no, that's going to collect leaves. Do you want to be on the roof getting leaves out of it? Why yeah. would you do that? So yes, it's, yeah. it's talking through everything. Mm. Um, but that's but, that's the experience of of the builder. The builder knows <coughs> these sort of things because they've obviously seen it before. Yeah, we do. We we watch and we learn as we go. So the mm. mistakes we were making years ago, we don't make them again. Mm. Ron's very much of I only make the mistake once. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, isn't that yeah. a good thing? You don't yeah. need to keep on doing that, do yeah. you? Yeah. No. So, yeah, we look after our clients. Mm. We, yeah, we're in contact with them all the time mm. just to make sure everything's as they want. Yeah, yeah, and um, and of course the workmanship thing everybody talks about that don't they you know so you've obviously got a series of tradies that um that you trust and that can do the right thing and work to your standards we do and we use the same tradies all all the time um the standard you walk past is the standard you accept. Uh, so yes isn't that we, so true we never walk past anything that's not quite right if you fix it, if you let them get away with it once, 
then they'll, they'll have another go. They'll have another go. <laughs> they always do it the easiest way, and you go, no, it's not the easiest way. It's the best way. We've got to go with the best way, not the easiest. <laughs> yeah, quite um, so. And and each trade only thinks about themselves and their little bit of the pie. They don't look about the, at the whole thing. So that you've got to try and keep it in the whole mm. picture in perspective for the trades as well. So yeah. that they see there are people following them that want it done different yes. to what they want it done because Absolutely. Um, it's because it's easy for them. They can't make it harder for someone else. No, no. So, yep. Yeah, so you've got to keep them on track. Mm, mm. All our trades get a list of do's and don'ts. Don't do this and don't do that. Oh, is that <laughs> right? Before <laughs> yeah. they even get on the, on the site? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they know what they're in to for. Their, specific to their, their trade. trade, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so we, yeah. They well, know. you're obviously right onto them. You don't let them um, stray too much off the path of righteousness, do you? No, no, <laughs> never, never. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you let them stray once, then they're you've always going to be You've made straying. a rod for your own yeah. back, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, and look, you know, obviously that makes you guys leaders in the field, doesn't it? It does. And yeah, we've you've got awards, awards and, and all that. Yeah, and we're respected by all the all our our engineer. We can ring up yeah. and speak to him all any time. Our designers. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are. We have a great reputation out there. We're very proud of our reputation that we have in the within the building industry. And rightly so. Um, yeah. We have builders ring and ask questions. Mm. Um, last week we had one in asking about building below the water table. Um, they ring us fast, <laughs> obscure information. How, how, how bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I would have thought they'd have known how to do that. But anyway. Um, no, that's pretty pretty intense building yeah, below I'll the bet. water table. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but yeah, we have – Ron doesn't sleep much. Is so, that right? He, so he studies a lot during the night and he researches he? and so there's not much that he doesn't know yeah. how it works or yeah. um, how it fits together. Yeah. He's spent hours during the night when no one's <laughs> bothering him looking at how it happens. <laughs> think, Good on him. Good I on can him. get mommy. up in the morning and get 20 emails all from the one person. Is that him. right? <laughs> <laughs> so in, you don't build a lot of homes in a year, do you? No, we we don't. Um, we don't have a number as such to cut off. It depends on the complexity of each job. And mm. if we've got some that are really complex, you know, got one below the water table and one, of, you know, mm. um, then we would cut, cut it off, um, say, about eight or nine. Twelve would be the maximum we'd do. But if we were doing twelve, they'd have to be twelve. Pretty reasonably straightforward yeah, ones. Straightforward yeah. ones. Mm. Um, we've got two single stories coming up soon, so that should be good. We don't do many single stories. So oh, is that right? You, you, most of yours are multi-story, are they? Yeah, yeah. Just okay. It depends on the economy. I think sometimes you go. So oh, we haven't done a single story mm. for a while, but okay. we've got two coming up together. So yeah, um, that's good. <laughs> Something quick. Bit more capacity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, and and of course, because you don't build a lot of homes in a year, like say perhaps some of the um, some of the project guys, um, you're able to provide a much more personal service yeah. to people who are building, aren't, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. We make sure we under, understand the individual client's personal dreams and desires, mm. and we make sure we understand and share that vision. Mm -hmm. And only then, together, can we create not only homes of distinction but also help deliver their dreams. Mm -hmm. We take their responsibility seriously and we treat our clients with the greatest respect. We also understand the trust that they have placed in us. Indeed, and that's a, that's a great thing because people are spending a fair bit of money to build a house. Yes. Um, and having the peace of mind and knowing that they're uh, getting that sort of service at that personal level must really... Uh, be of great comfort to them. Yes, all our clients say how happy they are that they've met us. <laughs> and if someone's if someone has recommended us to them, they go back to the person and tell them how grateful they are that yeah. they recommended us. Look, it's it's a great story, Jay. I mean, particularly since both you and Ron are registered builders. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, does it? No, it doesn't. I, I spend most of my time in the office, but because yeah. I I know and I'm involved, I. Yeah. I can see things 
that are happening that, you know, I'm organising yes. a slab next week that's got concrete piles, it's got screw piles, it's got yes. <laughs> anything, and I'm trying to pull it all together yeah. and have every trade there at the same time. It's it, So it, your your role is more in a back office. Do you get on site very much? Oh, I, yeah, I go to site ev- all the time. Oh, so do you? I, okay. I, I would go to every house every week mm. um, and – we do that on Saturdays or Sundays. That's that's our outing that's, together. As, as, oh, that's just as wonderful. That's husband togetherness. And wife. That's, yeah. that's togetherness, isn't it? Yeah, he says he takes me out all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's so, yeah. a wonderful thing you do. Yeah. Oh, look, and I mean, you've got a great reputation, and it's thoroughly deserved, mm. obviously. And because uh, we're on site on weekends, a lot of times, you know, our clients can see us on weekends because we're always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Always on site, on and weekends. everybody takes a great interest in the progress of their house, don't they? All they're there all the time. Yeah, most of our clients. Yeah, we've mm. got a client <laughs> did a slideshow, and we're, it's got probably <laughs> five hundred slides oh of the progress of the house. Really, so, like every when every brick was and, laid. Basically, and we were building in Swanbourne, and they were living in Wood- Woodvale, and you think. <laughs> they were there all the time and had Goodness pictures me. morning, noon and night. You think, yeah, yeah, well, you see, that really does show how interested and how significant building a home is for somebody. Yeah, it is, very. And, and you guys are the ones that uh, make that all come true in, in the as least a hassle-free environment as you possibly can. Yes, we love hassle-free. No, <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody does, Jay. Yeah, well, but. Talking about hassles, and we touched on this before we came on air, but um, uh, site theft is a real problem for you guys, isn't it? It is, and it depends on where the site is as to how much is mm. stolen. Um, you know, we've got one in Kalamunda, everything goes missing. Yeah, it's we, amazing. It's it, it, just people in utes up there, everyone's got a ute. So I don't know why. I, mean, I, I talked to you about this before because I, I really find that hard to, to accept that people are that inconsiderate, that in desperate need of a, a toilet system or system or something, you know, like it's just it beggars belief as far as I'm concerned. Well, you just wonder, like we lost a window frame from Kalamunda. Um, right. The window frame would have been bricked in when the brickies were there. They, it wasn't there. That it was there the day before. They just yeah. didn't brick it in. They were coming back the next morning to brick it in, and it was gone. Mm-hmm. And you think now that that then cost us double for yeah. that window frame because now it's got to be a retrofit one, which means there's labour involved. It's not made in a factory, so they've got to come up to site and make it on site because the brickwork's mm-hmm. already done. So it co- doubled the cost of our window. Mm-hmm. And what were they going to do with it? Mm-hmm. Uh, so. It, it makes no sense at all to me, and I just find the, the whole thing incomprehensible. It's not something that I was, you know, I was always brought up to be uh, not yeah. not like that. Yeah. And I just find it really sad that people feel the need to do that because it is somebody's property and it, and it is, you know, someone's hard-earned oh. money is going to be having to be spent to replace it. I think they think it's okay. It's just a rich builder that's going to pay for it. But mm. we're not all rich, for starters. No, certainly um, not. We're just trying to make a living and yeah. we don't deserve to have to s- subsidise their housing. What can um, be done about it, Jay? What? Um, they they do put trackers in a lot of um, appliances. Mm. They put trackers in them sometimes if if it's in an area where lots of stuff is going missing, they mm. will, will put trackers in them. Um, and then, obviously, if you've got it, you, you, they, they know where it is. You're in big trouble um, then. Mm. Yeah, it's just about... Yeah. Just one more thing the builder has to deal with in oh. doing what is really a, quite a complex project. It, yeah, it is. And, and it's the cost. It's not so much the cost, it's the loss of time as well. So if you, you get a tradie to site... Mm. to do something and whatever he's come to do is not there, then he's lost a day's work as well. That's right. Um, so he's not happy and... Puts the project know. back a day yeah. and so on. Yeah, and you've got to get more and it, it, you just think, why can't people just leave <laughs> things alone that don't belong to them? <laughs> because they obviously feel that their need is greater than yours. Water metres. We lo- we've lost a that, water meter. You were telling me about that before and I, I just do not understand what that's about. What could they? What value could it possibly have for them 
Yeah, unless they're going to defraud the water corporation and change their own meter, but the water corp does. They have all sorts of things that yeah. track those things, don't they? Um, well, yeah, they have m- numbers on them. So yeah. yeah, if you put it somewhere else, they would know that it was the num the mm. meter number was wrong. Um, but melt it down for metal is the only thing I can think of. Good lord! So you just, but. You know, you don't have a water meter, you can't work. Mm-hmm. So it's all a flow-on effect. And the water corp don't pay for it, we pay for it. Of course you I mean, do. It's, yeah. Yes, it's their water meter, but it's ours when it gets stolen. <laughs> so these are all the things that uh, builders um, such as Deverite Homes put, have to put up with as part of the, the construction process. Mm. And it's not covered by insurance. No, no. Um, that all our insurance is five thousand dollars excess, so yeah, you you, know, you, you, do, you can't make claims. So no. um, to think, oh well, it's covered by insurance. It's not. No. And no. even if it was, what difference does it make? It it's going to doesn't up, give you the right to take it just because no. the insurance company's apart, paying. And for apart it. from that, it's going to up your premium anyway, isn't it? Yeah. So it's yeah, it's you just think why can't yeah. just, it just go, it, it beggars it. belief, doesn't yeah, it? It, it does. really does. Yeah, it does. So look, you know, look, you do a wonderful service. You've got a wonderful company with an extraordinary reputation, and not only that, but Devright Homes is also a supporter of Howard's Army. Yes, we and, are. And yes. look, that's just such a, a fantastic thing that you do. And you know, once again, we thank you for that support. It's a great project, and um, your support of it makes it makes it possible. Thank you, Mary. You're, you're most welcome. Yeah. And look, thank you for being with us today and talking about Devrite Homes. And we look forward to catching up with you next week. All right. Thanks, Mary. More on the Sattler Files very shortly. This, this is the Sattler Files. Devrite Homes, when you're looking for attention to detail and uniquely designed home to suit all your needs. At Devrite Homes, we only build a limited number of homes per year, so we can truly focus on what you want out of a prestige home builder. We've continually won awards for excellence, with a record number of wins last year and the proud winner of the Australian Townhouse Villa of the Year. While we love building homes to suit each client, we pride ourselves on designing homes that take into account the special safety needs of some of our clients. If you have a dream, we can make it come true. Talk to